Welcome back to Let's Play a Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in Blobbert's house so that I can give a shout out to Derek Floyd, who corrected me, uh, saying that this uh, pit of crystals or whatever over here, uh, this isn't a thingy or a doohickey. It's actually a majiggy. <laughs> I like that. Since I uh, kind of forgot to do it the uh, last couple times, I'd also like to give a shout out to Gundy's Lackey. Currently up to 350 days of commenting in a row, and that is excellent. But I just wanted to specially call out that uh, a little while back, Gundy's Lackey uh, celebrated the 343rd day of uh, posting on my videos to engage with the algorithm by posting that it was 343 Guilty Spark days of commenting in a row. <laughs> you know, as I'm standing here, I can't help but notice that this thing is covered in, well, purple suction cups, and this thing is covered in gelatinous beads? I don't know, like seeds or something. But this one also has purple suction cups growing out of the bottom of this pit, and this one has a little gelatinous seeds growing out of the bottom of this pit. I think this is a hybridization experiment. Except usually that just means splicing the seeds together, you know, this is, uh... <laughs> this is like they're trying to convert them into the same thing. But yes, last time, we were here in the Citadel. Blobber got blob napped, and it was a real bad scene. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I just had to sort through my notes here. In order to uh, also add, you know, on the subject of people commenting every day, that Roshan is up to day 790, which is kind of crazy. Thank you. And, uh, yes. Blobbert got kidnapped uh, last time, and it was a bad scene, but we got him back. And I'm very glad about that, because, uh... Well, shout out to Conk279 left a comment saying that it doesn't help that Blobbert is Billy's only way back home. You know, we don't even know if the other Blobs can do the jelly bean transformations. Oh, oh no, we used this one. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get this done now. I'll show you. Oh. Oh. I thought the scripted thing was about to happen. Okay, there's a chest. Oh, but I can't do that. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right, I had to go up there and do all that stuff. Push a block down onto the spikes. I'm just gonna leave you in balloon mode, because I can't actually do anything else with you, and you're probably safer that way. Up! I still feel like the audio in this is too quiet at times. Shit. I don't usually struggle to this level of, uh, trying to work out the next, uh... What am I trying to say? Trying to, you know, balance out the audio is all I'm saying. I was kind of hoping he'd just go down there and get that. Oh. 
Damn. Flat surface. Good work, Blobbers. But I am actually going to. Oh. How am I meant to do that? Oh, I think I have an idea. It's not the one I was anticipating. Here we go. I was right! I didn't know the enemies could trigger each other like that. So that would have dropped the chest. So now I guess I need to beat the level in order for that to count. We've already seen the rest of this stuff since you know, it's blobless puzzles, so... Makes me feel better to have our uh, secret base in the uh, Emperor's Citadel have a completed treasure in it. You know, probably more intimidating that way. Terrifying yet cool. Okay, here's hoping. Every level in the Citadel isn't just kidnapping themed. The fuck? Okay, we got uh, Berry Balloon, Tangerine Trampoline, uh, Applejack, Punch Hole, and... I swear that looks exactly like the Jelly Bean one, except it makes a prism. Is this your way of telling me I need to spawn additional pylons? Wait. Oh, no, that's not the right button for that, I guess. Is it a shield? Yep. Wow. I can honestly say that becoming Captain Blob Merico was not something I was anticipating from this session of a boy and his blob. Hey! I was gonna ask you if you know these guys, but honestly, I'm gonna let them out anyway. Nobody deserves this. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess we know that they all have morphic abilities, and they're triggered by flavor.
I, I mean, surely you could just turn into a balloon if you really wanted to, right? I mean, it's just jelly beans. He got them from this kid from Earth. Okay, maybe I can use the shield to push them? I can't- I don't have anything that can just- Oh, I have the- the hole punch. Right, okay. Feels good to solve problems again. As opposed to having problems. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, um... Shit. At least these guys are still free. Calm down. Just want to make sure I get this one right. Actually, wait. Calm down. Yeah, that one. Good boy. No. Ah! I should make it clear, uh, when I'm using the shield, I can't block. Uh, I can't block. I can't, uh, move when he's actually holding on to it. Oh, right, I used a trampoline to get up here. In that case, I'll just use a trampoline to get up there. Double crap! Well, I mean, this is giving me effortless, I guess. Man, I wanted to see if I could make the chest fall down to us. Let's go. I just got really weirded out by that. I, hmm. She kind of fuck. All right, all right. I'm actually kind of disappointed by that. Oh dear. Oh right. Oh, Blobbert, you're here. Okay, uh, Jack. they don't blow up when they just, you know, encounter him. Until he turns into something. Well, that looks optional to me. Well, there's not much I can do about that. This is a terrible idea. Except that it works. Oh. 
What I really like about that the most is that Blobber is physically narrower than the chests. But it's not that he's just dissolving them because he spits them back out later. I mean, does every Blob have their own pocket universe going on? here. All I need to do is get it on the platform. No, wait. Over here! Oh, fuck. I don't have anything I can... I can't turn him into an anvil and just push him on there. Um, no, I have no idea how this works. Except for that damn platform. That would actually be easier, because I could just drop down onto the thing. Okay, that's very potent. chest around somewhere, and I have no idea. I guess it must be in this direction, huh? Him a second to actually do it. Like if I press uh do I need a now. So uh Ah, it's actually not the easiest thing in the world to figure the timing on those. Since I'm moving up and they jump before they do it, and things take a second. It is like the parachute, by the way, I have to actually walk up to it before I can do anything. Sounds gross in here, so let's get out. That's better. I 
I can't even think of any candy flavors that uh, start with S-H off the top of my head. Surely there is something. We need the jack there. Okay, I see what I need to do here. Okay, this one will be relatively easy. I need to get the hole in there with the guy. And if I do this one right, he'll just fall straight through. Okay. This way. Now I need to do that right there. Oh, even better! I don't need to endanger myself. I can just use the jack to push him up to the upper level, and then he'll fall straight down onto the thing. Yeah, I thought I had to get in there and get out of the way real fast. Fuck. Well, next time, don't do it so close to the wall. Stays open, okay. And because I am curious, no, they will uh, only react to this one, I guess. There you go. Oh, achievement unlocked: Savior of Blobonia or Blobolonia, Citadel Two. Rescue all of the captured blobs of level Citadel 2. Ooh. Hey! Well, the timer did go, so let's get out of here. Yeah! Um. Hey, we helped those people, for reals! That wasn't just a novelty thing we could do. I mean, I'd still help them, it's just, you know. Nice to be recognized. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Is that a suit of armor? I was kind of hoping those blobs would be hopping around in here. Like the resistance or something. Huh. It does look like armor. But why would, uh... Well, why would a species of amorphous blobs even build armor? Y yes, you know, this is their planet. Maybe there are life forms here that can actually harm them, but... Their bodies change shape constantly. They wouldn't be able to consistently do that unless they fixed themselves into one shape, and... This seems to be the only shape they're terribly fond of just leaving themselves in. It was for a really big blob. Oh well. We did good work. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob as we continue further into the Citadel and I guess keep saving blobs from the evil emperor. Later.